Thank you. Thank you all for putting your faith in Donna and me. We truly, truly honor your endorsement. This endorsement still means something, and we are so thankful that you stuck this out and are giving us this honor. So we, we really appreciate that. <laughs> to, to Philip Parrish and to Mary Giuliani Stevens, I said during my speech that if you chose to endorse one of them, we would be on the trail the very next morning knocking on doors and walking in parades to help them. And that was true, not just because they were both in their very different and unique ways, excellent candidates they were, but more because they are just tremendous, genuinely good people. And to me, that is much more important than any of this political stuff. So Philip and Mary, thank you. And to all of the folks who are here for them, I know both of Philip and Mary brought new people to this convention and to the process that I couldn't have brought here, that Donna could not have brought here. And so I thank them for that. And my hope is that we can earn your support as these coming weeks and months come on because we truly, again, appreciate everything you're willing to do. So now it is time to defend this endorsement. And that starts tomorrow. <laughs> And, you know, we have a primary in front of us. We all know that. And we could whine and cry about it, but instead I would rather just go win it. So that is the plan and I need your help. So I'm going to ask for something from you. Actually, I'm going to ask for a bunch of things from you before I close up because we really need your help. That battle starts this afternoon, not even tomorrow, but this afternoon. And I know on your way out, they're already starting to set things up. You're going to get a little baggy if you'll take it with a bumper sticker and some other things that, to get the word out, because we are going to rely on you. We're going to get outspent. We are going to rely on you to help get that word out. There's going to be lawn signs out there. Please take one or don't take 10 or 20. We don't have enough, but take one or two and uh, put them in your, one in your yard and one in the best other yard you got. And then I hate asking for money at this point, but on the way out, if you can throw in a $20 bill or write a check for 50 or 100 or whatever you can, again, we are going to get outspent by plenty in the primary, but as long as I have enough to get a simple message out to Minnesota Republicans, we will win this race on August 14th. And, and that is important. It is very important that we win this primary, not just because this is not just about picking the strongest candidate. It is about that, but it's not just about that. I believe that this primary is about the heart and soul of the Republican Party. This primary will determine who controls the Minnesota GOP going forward. Are we just like the DFL, controlled by the wealthiest donors and political professionals, where the endorsement is essentially irrelevant? Or is our party controlled by you and grassroots Republicans on the ground all over the state like you who pound in the lawn signs and knock on the doors and give $25 or $50 contributions and walk in parades? That's what this primary is about. And you know what? I got my money on you. Yeah. Yeah. So let, let's keep this party in the hands of the grassroots and let us go win this thing. Thank you all so much. Thank you.